Greetings, human asset. How's it going, Wolfpack, and welcome to another Scum University tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be doing, uh, it's going to be a grad school program uh, for base building. Uh, it's rather simple to do, but uh, I am putting it in the advanced uh, tutorials, uh, the grad school uh, program and playlist, just because uh, if you think you're going to go out and uh, gather all the resources for all the items we're going to be talking about uh, in a half an hour or even a, a four-hour game session, uh, you are out of your mind. Uh, it's not going to happen. Uh, this is going to be challenging. Any of these things are going to be challenging for uh, even a small squad or even a large squad to do. So, but first, if you're new to the channel, uh, if this is your first time visiting uh, and you're enjoying the content, please subscribe and ring that bell. If you're a, uh, if you're have been here before and you uh, are coming back to the channel, please like the video and uh, comment down below. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the base for the wooden watchtower. So we're going to come down here to the crafting menu. All we have to do is uh, set it up right over here by our resources. We're going to put it right outside. We uh, can spin it with the mouse wheel if you haven't changed that. We can spin it however you like. And then you're going to place it on the ground using F. And then we do just like every other blueprint. We have all of our stuff that's out here. I have 30 logs. Um, I'm sorry, I have 30 planks, I have 15 logs, and I have 30 instances of a toolbox. The red toolbox is uh, 100 if it's full. The small toolbox, the white one, is um, 25 if, if it's full. So that gives you an idea of how many resources you're going to need just to build one part of this building. At the end of the video, I have a complete base set up up, uh, up the hill up there, and uh, you're going to see exactly how much resources you will actually need to, to get this accomplished. So, so we're going to fill it with wooden planks. Uh, you know, we have all this stuff laid out here. Um, I know it should be the correct amount, so I'm just going to start tapping the F button, and you'll see it start to fill in as the stuff is laid on the ground. When it's done, it will no longer be a blueprint anymore. It will be a watchtower base, um, which we can go up another tier on if we want. But that is the basic watchtower base. Okay, so what I have found, uh, the easiest way to add the tiers to the, to the watchtower is to actually do it by climbing up uh, tier by tier. So if you just wanted a short watchtower, similar to that hunting watchtower up there, uh, the, that's the tower that's in the game on the hills and things uh, for hunting areas. Uh, if you just wanted a short watchtower, um, we could uh, go ahead and put a watchtower roof right on the top here. Um, we could pop it over here, just line it up, and it will eventually, there we go, it's uh, it's lined up. Kind of hard to see in the camera because we are up here, but um, it will just make a watchtower roof uh, a short watchtower. So, if we want to do, but, this the nice thing about this is, we can actually make this multi-tiered. So, I can place my blueprint right there, it snaps right to it. I can uh, crouch down. I have my resources down there on the ground. We can do that. Um, we don't have to carry them up the ladder at this point. And then I can start filling up my resources. It's 10 toolboxes, 10 logs, and 20 planks. So I might, be able to, I might have to go down and uh, I should be able to fill, should be able to fill if I'm not crouched. There we go. So now I just hit F again, and I fill up all of the resources needed. And we finish it off with five more logs and ten more planks. And the last few logs, and we have our middle tier for the watchtower. Again, two tiers. Um, we could do a short one if we want and put a roof right there, but just to show you, this is the maximum uh, height of the watchtower. And we can climb up, climb up to the second tier, and we are good to go. All right, so here we are on our second tier of our watchtower, and uh, we will now put a roof on the top of the watchtower. So easiest to do is when you're up here um, right at the top, it snaps into place. It won't let you just place this thing willy-nilly anywhere. Um, it snaps into place. And you're good to go. It needs 10 toolbox, uh, 10 instances of a toolbox. It needs 10 
uh, planks and it needs five logs. So we'll fill it with a toolbox because we have those right now. Let's go get the uh, other stuff and we'll be right back. All right, we have our log and our, our logs and our planks. So we just again we look at the blueprint. There's our logs. Planks go in. Roof goes on. And we have our full watchtower um, with the roof. Uh, two tiers with the roof. So I do not recommend jumping off of this one. This one is uh, quite the distance down to the ground. Um, you can jump off that first tier, but uh, there it is. So uh, it's pretty high up there. You got a uh, one tier, you got a second tier, and then the roof. Okay, just so you guys are aware um, of the amount of resources that this thing is going to take and any of the base building uh, when you think you're going to bang this out in about 10 minutes. Uh, I uh, did the math for you. Uh, you need 30 logs that you can only bring one by one. Um, you need 60 planks, which you get from the logs, and you need 50 instances of a toolbox. That's one half of a red toolbox that's full, or you need uh, two full 25-pound small toolboxes. I'm sorry, 25-pound, 25-instance uh, 25 toolboxes. So let's just go over here real quick, just to see, give you a little point of reference. Um, we're going to run over here real fast just to show you how large. That's a large tree. We'll cut it down, and we're going to see how many resources um, that you're going to get. Um, just to give you an idea of how long it's going to take you. So we got uh, one, let's see here, small wooden logs are useless. They're not going to do anything for us. So we got one usable log, two, three, four, five, six usable logs out of that entire, um, that large tree. We need 30 logs alone, not including the logs that we need to make the wooden plank. So just uh, again, um, we're going to look at this, uh, hold F, and then cut this into wooden planks. Each of those logs, not the small wooden logs, the big wooden logs, are going to give us four wooden planks, and we need 60 wooden planks. So that just gives you an idea of how intense um, the resources are going to be. Now, you can drive a car up here, load the car up, and drive it over to your base and uh, get that squared away. You can do that. Um, and But, again, uh, if you're trying to carry this stuff, here's what it's like to carry a log over to where you want to go. So, just to give you an idea, this is going to be a very long process. Um, you are going to walk over here, place this in the blueprint. You cannot run. This is as fast as you can go. And then you just come over here and you drop it. Or you can, uh, I think you can just place it right in the blueprint and go from there. So, uh, we only need 29 more of those, that's all. Moving along, our second option is going to be the wooden barricade. Uh, that's, this is more of a uh, fortification uh, or an injury thing. It's not as a, uh, a base building component, but it's, it's nice to have around. Uh, they do hurt you if you, uh, if you run into them. So for this one, we need 10 uh, instances of a toolbox, we need 5 planks, and we need 5 logs. So I'm going to go collect those resources, and I will be right back. We have our resources right here. We have the 10 toolboxes. We just tap an F, and then we have a nice and formidable um, pal uh, barricade. So if you get hurt by those spikes... Actually, maybe not. I thought that was a. I thought this was one that you could get hurt by, but uh, maybe if you just, yeah. Looks like it's just a area denial thing. I know the barbed wire. If you run into that, you're gonna get hurt, and I'll show you that. But as of right now, it doesn't look like you're gonna get hurt running into these spikes. As funny as that is. The third item uh, on the list is the wooden platform, but I can't show you that until we build a, uh, a wooden palisade or wooden wall. Um, so I'll show you what the, uh, what the platform is uh, shortly after that. So we're going to go right here to the wooden palisade. Um, I do like the way they have this set up. You just place it. It looks like you're building one, but as you stretch your cursor, um, you just stretch it all out, and you can see exactly, and you can actually walk around it and line it up however you want to do it. 
um, and then the maximum it will allow you to build is about right there and let's just look and see how many logs we need for the maximum wall length 26 logs that's a lot of logs um, but we will uh, go get those logs and I will be right back all right here we are with the 26 logs and uh, we're just going to start plugging them in by hitting the F button and boom we have our wall all right and uh, the nice thing is uh, when we go along we want to make our uh, however we want to do it if we want to continue the wall we can it snaps into place there we can go that way we can go that way we can go this way you can go on an angle you can do whatever you want the blueprint will snap and uh, and you'll be uh, good to go it'll tell you how many logs you need again this one is not as long so it's smaller uh, that's nice uh, we won't need as many all right the fourth thing moving along is the wooden platform uh, the wooden platform, you can put on, it has to go on the walls. It won't go anywhere else that I know of. Um, and you're basically, it's a, a platform that you can use as a shooting platform uh, if you're on the inside of your base. And I'll show you what I mean. So you just pop it in there. Uh, it won't work. Uh, it won't work if it's too high. It won't work if it's too low. It won't work if something's in the way. Um, so we have, uh, we need 10 instances of a toolbox. And then we need five planks. So let's, uh, actually, I don't want to carry that drop that thing guy we will drop that actually we're gonna cut it right into wooden planks right now and see how many we get we got four so we're still gonna need another one still gonna need another wooden plank let's go get another wooden plank and I'll be right back all right we're back with a wooden plank here we'll put that on there now we have a platform it is on the wall and uh, we're good to go. We can uh, hop up there if we want to shoot, use it as a shooting platform. We can uh, hop up there and now uh, we can see over the wall. We can shoot over the wall if we have a, I don't have a, a weapon on me right now, but you can see where that would be handy. You can make a platform, a series of these and put those all the way around your base uh, and you are, uh, you're good to go there. You could link those with your watchtower. You could do all sorts of cool things. I, uh, again, I have a base up the hill there. I'll uh, show you what I did with them. The next thing we have on the list is the double doors. This is for the, uh, you know, basically an entry to your base. Uh, it will snap to your walls. I've found that uh, you need to build them uh, almost so they look like they're coming in behind your, uh, almost like they'll, they'll snap in and uh, you almost need to have them right behind your wall so they snap in nicely and seamlessly. So I placed it. It uh, not going to interfere with anything. You can't. You're not going to be able to get any, you know, anything through there. Um, and uh, that's that's how I found on my base up there uh, how it works. So we need uh, ten toolboxes. We need six planks and we need six logs. Is that an eight? That's an. I think that's an eight. Uh, eight logs. So let's go get our resources and we will be right back. All right, we're back with our resources. Put our toolbox in there it is an eight so we needed eight logs and then we have our double door now we could drive a car in our base we could do all uh, it's not just a, an entry for a uh, person it can actually be a car um, I believe the quads will fit in through the uh, smaller door which we'll show you in a second but uh, that's that so here's our wooden That's that. So here's our wooden double doors. You actually have to build those. Again, they snap into, uh, they snap right into the into place on the wooden double doors. Um, we come back here. We need ten planks and we need ten instances of a toolbox. We filled it with the toolbox. Let's go find some planks and I'll be right back. All right, we're back with our planks. Drop them in here using the F button and. There we have our do doors, opens just like any other door, close it, open it, and that is that. Keep in mind, if you want to uh, have the maximum protection on here, uh, you need 600 fame points for the gold locks, 200 each. You need, uh, you can set up to three gold locks on here, um, and that door is maximum secured. To my knowledge, you cannot, once you pl if you place a uh, lower end lock on here, 
unless you destroy the door, you cannot replace that lock. You can't upgrade that lock unless uh, unless you destroy the door and redo the locks with no, new fame points. So, uh, in order to get maximum pro maximum protection out of the uh, the door itself with those locks, you need 200, 200, 200 for a total of 600 fame points for those gold locks. Moving along, we have the barbed wire. Again, more of an obstacle, not so much a base component, but uh, it's more of an obstacle. Uh, and you'll see how I use them up in the uh, up on my up on the hill there. Um, you just place it like normal. Uh, you need 10 instances of a toolbox, and you need 10 scrap metal. So tell me the last time you uh, were running around with 10 extra pieces of scrap metal uh, with nothing to do with it. Usually, I'm crafting ammo with them, outfitting a whole base. You could need up to 100 or 200 uh, pieces of scrap metal um, for what we're going to be doing. So let's go find some scrap metal, and I will be right back in a minute. So we have our scrap metal. Let's pop this into the barbed wire and the 10 instances of a toolbox, and we have our barbed wire. This will hurt you. If I jump on it, I'm getting hurt, and it's taken away a good 6 to 10% each time I do that. So... The barbed wire will hurt you. Um, it's very good. I've placed it around my walls up on the base. You'll see. Um, it's good to keep people away from your your uh, uh, keep people away from your base. All right. Let me patch up here, and we will move on to the next one. Same as those spikes up there. If you fall on those spikes, or uh, you're jumping over a wall and you land on those spikes, or you're coming off of a watchtower and land on those spikes, those will put a hurt on you as well. Next on our list is the wooden door, but we're going to have to do the wooden door frame first. Same thing as the outer door frame. Uh, we're going to place it. It is going to snap. It doesn't snap right like you would think. Uh, you're going to have to place it slightly behind uh, the wall that you have built. Um, we're going to come over here. We need four logs, three planks, and ten instances of a toolbox. So I'll be right back, and we will find our resources and be get you set up all right we have some resources over here ten instance of a toolbox four logs are here three planks and we have our human door uh, enough where we could walk through it there's the one for the car here's the one for the person and it looks like uh, definitely a quad would fit through there for sure so uh, for sure so uh, we'll move on here we'll do the wooden door Again, it'll snap right in. Boom. Ten instances of a toolbox. And then uh, the planks. And we're in. All right. So that's definitely ours. And we have our door. Same thing before. Um, we will uh, attempt to claim, you know, we, we want to uh, try to use as many, uh, the highest level of locks as possible. I know sometimes we have to do the 100, 150. But uh, 200 is the, uh, you can't upgrade once you do it. So you don't want to lose, you don't want to put uh, 300 fame points into this door and then have to uh, destroy it and start over again and try to get Improvised well. This is a good one. You can have your own water source in your, uh, in your base. You can have your own water source in your base. Uh, you just set it down. We need 30 instances of a toolbox we need 10 planks and we need 20 logs all right that's again that's the whole forest over here that we'll have to chop down to get everything that we've uh, done so far and it's going to take you hours to do so so let's uh get some of these resources and i will be back in a second all right here we are with our uh, resources and we will start putting them in plugging them in by hitting the f button as long as they're on the ground in the vicinity or in our backpack, we are good to go. Looks like we're short by 15. Uh, we're going to need to go and find a toolbox. Uh, so two seconds, and we will finish this well off. All right, now we have a toolbox in our inventory. Come over here, 15 more t of a toolbox, and we can drink out of the uh, well. We can fill our cans, our bottles, whatever we need. Um, and we can do our thing. Portable water source. You can actually build this thing if you're out in the middle of nowhere. You could build this thing and then uh, and then destroy it when you're done if you, you've just needed a water source um, real quickly. But that's a lot of work to do, uh, you know, to have a water source for 10 minutes and then be done. So. 
All right, the next component uh, of base building that we're going to talk about, the new addition, is the base block. Um, it's base, uh, a block filled with sand that can be used as a barricade. Um, we take that in the crafting menu. We can drop it right here, and uh, we place it. We, you can see we need some sandbags. We need 10 sandbags. Uh, if you don't know how to craft the sandbags, you don't know what they are or how to get them, uh, hang out till the end of this video. At the very end, just the tip is uh, uh, the segment at the end is going to tell you how to do it. Um, we also need 10 rags, we need 5 metal scrap, and we need 5 instances of a toolbox. So let's go get all that stuff and we will be right back. Alright, we're back and we are ready to load up our base block. I'm going to drop our sandbags in. Again, don't forget to hang out to the end of the video. I'll show you how to make those sandbags if you don't know how to do that. We need uh, 5 more rags. Let me go find those, and we will be in business. All right, we found our five rags. Drop these in here, and there is our base block. I believe these stack. So, yes, they do stack, and uh, you could uh, stack them up and make that your wall if you so choose, or you can make them barricades or firing positions, however you want to do it. So they do snap together. Uh, all the way around and up high. I don't know how high they'll stack, um, but let's see, just to see if uh, if they'll stack. A, uh, we'll go up to three and see how that goes. If it goes up to three, I'm sure it'll go higher than that, so we'll go from there. Give me a few minutes to go get our stuff here. All right, let's see if we can stack a third one. Um, I don't believe it will stack three high. It doesn't look like it wants to play nice up there. I'll walk all the way around here. It does not look like it does look like it'll stack two, uh, you know, very easily, uh, but I don't know if it'll go three high, so it doesn't look like it. Let me know in the comments below if you can get them to stack up uh, that high, but it doesn't look like it's going to let you. So uh, one little interesting tidbit uh, that I just learned is that uh, once you place these things, as you're dropping them, you can reuse the uh, sandbags. It, it apparently... Uh, they're allowing. They're, you're basically dumping the the soil out of the sand and into the into this box. So, and if you do place these things as you're placing them, and that goes for any one of these uh, things that we're talking about today, if you place something and it turns red and it will not allow you to do something, that could be some. That's something interfering inside of the blueprint, and it will not allow you to build anything more. So, if you look closely, there is a sandbag. I believe there's definitely a sandbag in here somewhere i just got to find it but um it's one of these uh, empty sandbags and just start to what you do is you just start dragging things out of the vicinity and uh and taking them uh and pulling them away and that there it was right there i don't know where it was in there but that's that's if something turns red and you can't build something uh nine times out of ten that's uh that's what it is uh so just keep that in mind so let's move Our next component we're going to have to do is the foundation. Um, we're going to come over here because we have to build three of these. Actually, we have to build four of these to get the cabin to um, sit on it. So you, you, it, one is not enough. Uh, just keep that in mind. So we're going to plop this down right here. Um, and we're going to build uh, one of these right now. Uh, we need six, uh, five logs. We need 15 uh, planks and we need 20 instances of a toolbox. So we're going to go get these resources and uh, we're actually going to need, if we're going to, if the plan is to build a cabin, um, we're going to need four times that amount to get the cabin to fit on this, uh, on the platform. So um, I will be right back. Let's go get those resources. All right, we're back. Uh, we will, uh, we have our resources over here and we're just going to start plugging them in. Uh, planks are being built. We've got all the logs in there. Planks and boom we have a platform problem is we uh that's just a platform there's really nothing we can do we can't put the cabin on top of this platform until we have at least from what i know until we have at least um four of them so uh i'll show you right now what i mean uh this cabin is way too large for one uh one um platform so you need to uh basically build it's actually called a foundation in here uh, you're going to need four foundations they snap together nicely um, right here but this one again like i was saying before uh, there's uh, pieces of crafting material in the blueprint so if it turns red that's why uh, so let's go over here we'll uh, we'll snap this one together 
Um, I don't know if we're going to be close enough to... Uh, yes, we are. So let's plug those, uh, or what we have left over there. Boom, there's two. Uh, let's try the cabin on this now. I don't think it's going to fit. Um, we can turn it again with the mouse wheel. Um, I don't believe it's going to fit on two. Um, we're going to need... Yeah, it's not going to work. So uh, we will build uh, another uh, couple of platforms here, and I will be right back when we're done with those platforms. One other thing I failed to mention was uh, a person also cannot walk or be building things inside of the uh, inside of the uh, perimeter of the blueprint, or your blueprint will turn red and you'll be unable to build it. So make sure that all items, uh, crafting items, or even something as simple as it could be anything. You could have a literal suppressor in the middle of there, underneath a blade of grass, and it's not going to allow you to grab it. So uh, something very simple like that will uh, cause you a lot of frustration. So uh, don't uh, don't let that get you too crazy. Um, so we're going to finish off this uh, fourth one. All right, here we are with our uh, platform. It's two by two. Um, in order to build this platform, if your intention is to build a cabin, you need 60 planks. You need 20 logs, and you need eight and 80 instances of a toolbox. Again, uh, the toolbox, the red ones are 100 if they're full, and uh, the white ones, the smaller ones, are uh, 25 if they're full. So you'll need uh, four small ones or one uh, full uh, red one. So we'll move on. We'll move on. This is what the uh, cabin, the cabin will not go on, the wooden cabin will not go on the ground over here. Uh, it must go on this foundation. Um, so we'll pop over here and we will spin it around and boom. Now we're on the foundation. We could put it, you know, we could center it. We could do whatever we want. We can move it around. You know, it's, it's up to us how we want to put it on here, but it has to be on the foundation itself. Um, that's why uh, a lot of people has, are having problems uh, getting that they're just getting it red. They're thinking it's unbuildable, but it is buildable. It just needs to be on the platform. So let's spin it around so our door is facing us because that's our next thing. Um, we'll pop it up here right now. Boom, the blueprint is set. And uh, we need for the cabin, we need 30 logs, we need 15 planks, we need 10 more metal scrap, and we need 50. Uh, of a toolbox, 50 instances of a toolbox. So that's half of a red one or two full white ones. Um, uh, let's go get this. In, uh, let's go get these resources. And all right, we have all of our resources. We have uh, 30 logs. We have 15 planks. We have 10 metal scraps, and we have our 50 instances of a toolbox in our inventory. Let's start building by tapping F a bunch of times. see all those resources going up and going in cabins being built boom cabins built all right a couple features with the cabin it does have a ladder um, that you can get up to the top on it's over here we can climb our ladder up to the roof this is kind of nice I haven't been able to build anything up here just yet um, I have not tried yeah, the, here we go. Uh, I have not uh, been able to build the barbed wire thing up here. It'd be nice if you could build sandbag walls up here or something like that. That'd be that'd be uh, really cool if you could put a sandbag wall up or something like that. But um, so we are. Uh, that's the roof of the cabin, um, and uh, inside the cabin for plenty of room for boxes. Uh, we cannot do any window fortifications as of yet. Um, it's just not not an option. Uh, they don't they do have uh, basic fortifications in the cabin, but again, you're you're within a walled compound, so I don't see why you would uh, really need that just now. But uh, just know that you can't do that just yet. Um, so that's the cabin. Nice. It's a uh, it's pretty cool looking, um, and uh, it's built on that platform, which evens out the ground for the cabin itself. All right, the way you secure the cabin is with the cabin door. So we, uh, you know, again, can't just build this thing anywhere. It's got to be within the wooden door frame of the cabin. We place it in the door frame, the blueprint. We need 10 instances of a toolbox, and we need five planks. We already have the 10 instances of a toolbox. Let's go find those planks, and I will be right back with you. All right, found our planks. 
one, two, three, four, five. Boom, there's our door. Opens like any other. And again, we uh, lock it by um, just like we do any of the other ones. We have to select how many uh, fame points we want to use on the quality of locks, uh, which are. All right, the last thing we have to go over is the uh, tent right here. Um, just again, uh, sheltering uh, in place for harsh weather conditions. This has got to be on pretty flat ground. I had a hard time uh, trying to find it any place up there. I had to come all the way down here to uh, even be allowed to uh, place it. So uh, just keep that in mind. It's got to be on relatively uh, flat ground um, and uh, in order to place the blueprint. So we'll place the blueprint. We need 50 rope, we need 5 scrap metal, we need 30 rags, and 30 instances of a toolbox. So um, let's get those uh, resources here real quick. We're wrapping it up, and then we're going to go check out the base in a few seconds. Um, the base that I made, uh, you know, humble little base that I made uh, to uh, show you all of the components and how they work together. So uh, let's go get these resources, and we will be right back. All right, here we are with the resources. Let's start plugging them in. Yep. See, I am in... I wasn't even, I was just on the tent stake over here, and uh, it wouldn't allow me to um, to build. So just keep that in mind. If you're in any of the blueprint field and it turns red, it, that's why. Um, so let's start building by hitting F a bunch of times to get those rags, 30 rags in there. And there we have it. It's the same tent that are at the military installations where you find the boots and the backpacks and things. Um, you know, it's got a uh, grass floor, um, it's got the regular floor, but the glass clips, grass clips through, and there you have it. Nice little tent, um, you know, and you're, uh, you're good to go there. So, all right, I showed you all the components. We have, uh, you know, the towers, we have the tents, we have the cabins, we have the platforms, uh, two different types of doors, sandbag blocks, the platforms, uh, to stand on, on the walls. Let's head up to the base and see how it all works together. All right, everybody, here's the base as I, uh, I spent about an hour and a half uh, doing it, but I spawned in the items that I needed. I, uh, you're not going to be able to do this on servers. Um, I did uh, spend a little time constructing it. I kind of laid it out. I don't know that I will ever do this in a game in a survival server. I just don't uh, see myself taking the time to do this. Um, it, this would take probably several days and many, many hours of collecting things for a solo player I just I don't see it feasible uh, feasible even for a small squad I don't fe see it feasible but uh, we'll go through here I'll show you I'll show you around and you can see the various components of the base building um, keep in mind that everything degrades uh, as time goes on and I'll uh, show you how to repair that at the end of the uh, just before uh, the just the tip segment um, so this one uh, we have our uh, base block we have our um, our uh, area denial spikes uh, they don't hurt you but uh, they just deny the area uh, the uh, see here it's uh, started the, the hit points have started to uh, degrade um, we have our barbed wire that I use to keep everybody away from the wall um, you're not going to be able to jump on that and then jump up and over the wall um, you will uh, I kind of tried to ring the base as best as I could with barbed wire uh, wouldn't let me place anything here because of the hill uh, I jutted some out a couple of times to keep a line of fire um, from the shooting towers. Um, same thing over here. And I, I think I set myself up pretty well. Uh, again, the incline wouldn't allow me to place any barbed wire over here. But you'll see the, the, the palisade walls. They go up on the hills nicely. They build, they build very nicely on the hills. I have a cabin in there. We'll go in there and, uh, and check it out. It'll be a real quick tour just so you guys can see. I did a little, uh, you know, swerving thing so they can't drive cars straight up. That's why I put that base block there. Um, and then we, uh, I have the gold locks. I have enough room in here for uh, a car and a couple of ATVs. These are the um, the walls I was telling you about. The, uh, you know, so we could shoot from right here if we needed to. Um, and then uh, I have two guard tower, or two watch towers, just so we can see what's going on. My well is up here on my platform. This is, uh, I believe, four. I believe this is six, uh, three by two. So I believe that's six. And uh, I have a nice little narrow uh, passageway over here. Uh, so I could jump up and uh, kind of look over the wall over to this way. Uh, narrow passageway there. Uh, over to the other guard towers. 
You can get on the roof of the cabin for another shooting position if need be. I don't have to climb up uh, the ladders. Um, you know, I got a pretty good field of fire um, being on this uh, this hill up here. Uh, another big thing that I like is that uh, I'm not in a uh, valley or anything like that where somebody can uh, rain fire down on me from a mountain or anything like that. So I'm I'm pretty much at the highest position. The reason why I put that guard tower over there, looking that way, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, let me climb down here. Drop by. I can drop right onto my uh, right onto my platform. Um, I can jump over to my platforms over here for a shooting position and I'm over here uh, right over there there's a there's a slight depression where I was thinking the threats might come from so I wanted to build an elevated tower over here so I could see over that hill uh, they still probably could get around you know get around there and sneak around but I I, I would feel that a uh, I would feel that a uh, an alert guard would probably either hear see or uh, you know be alerted to something like that so let's pop down here we can go right on to our, uh, again, shooting platform for any threats coming this way. With any threats coming this way, we have the roof. Um, that's really our high point over there um, where they would, you know, we could be taking fire inside the base. Um, you know, I guess a sniper could do something out that way as well, but we have a, a myriad of positions to uh, shoot back at them. All right. And then the inside of the cabin, no big deal. We got wall, a wall on that end, so it's not even a problem. And then, you know, somebody may be able to shoot in this way, but not a big deal again. Locked with three gold locks. The front door is locked with three gold locks. And I feel like we'll be pretty secure in this base. Um, again, the extra firing position right up here to uh, shoot out this way if need be. So that's the base that I uh, decided to build. That's the one I designed quick. Again, I don't uh, foresee myself doing this on, a, on an open world survival server, um, but had I, uh, if I was uh, to decide to do it, it would be something like this. I don't need anything crazy. I don't need a huge, huge base or anything like that. Um, and keep in mind that this stuff still needs to be repaired. So uh, let's get some, you know, you can uh, click on this and hold it and you can uh, click repair, but you have to have the ingredients that you use to build it. So these are logs. So let me uh, get a couple of logs here, and I'll show you how to repair it real quick. All right, so here we are with the log. Um, really, all we got to do to repair it, and you do have to do the upgrade, uh, the upkeep on it. Otherwise, it's uh, not going to work very well for you. It's just going to keep degrading until it falls down. You hold it, you hit repair, and as long as it's in the vicinity and you have a strike tool, boom, we are repaired. And it's back to 100%. We needed two logs to uh, to do that. All right, guys, stay uh, stay tuned. Thank you for tuning in to uh, Scum University and uh, the base building segment. I know it's a big topic right now, and I appreciate everybody hanging in there. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to cover. And uh, stay tuned for Just the Tip with Nate Wolf 49 And uh... and now it's time for Just the Tip with Nate Wolf 49 In order to craft sandbags, which you do need for a few things um, in base building... Um, we are going to need a shovel in our hands um, or in our inventory. Uh, we need to select sandbag here, and then we need to craft them. So uh, they put the, he puts the shovel back on his back. I'm not really sure. You'd think he'd be working a little bit harder than that, but there it is. Um, and we just continue to craft sandbags just like that. And they should be dropping down on our ground um, right here as we craft them. So... Uh, do this uh, we I know we need 10 for the uh, for the only place that I know where to use them is uh, the base block we need 10 so we just need those empty bags and then you have to craft those up just like that that's where you find sandbags for that uh, that component this has been just the tip with Nate Wolf 49 if you learned anything from this video please smash that like button if you're new please uh, consider subscribing and uh, hit that bell so you're notified when we when I post new content. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Enjoy Scum, and uh, there's a ton of content coming, and it's uh, have a blast with it. Please check out the videos that are popping up on your screen right about now.